Hi, welcome to ERP Next Tutorials. In this video, we will learn how an advance amount is given to an employee and how to adjust the same against an expense claim. Let's create a new employee advance. Select an employee S. Yes. Enter the purpose. This is an advance amount requested. Select a current asset account in which value of advance and paid will be booked. Also, select mode of payment. Let's save and submit this expense claim. If needed, you can also apply workflow on it to manage multiple approvals. You can notice that status for the employee advance is unpaid. When employee is paid, payment entry is created. In the payment entry, employee details are updated as a party. On submission of payment entry, this current asset account gets debit against a bank or cash account. Paid up and an employee advance ID is updated in a table. Enter payment acknowledgement details in this section. Let's save and submit this payment entry. Based on the payment entry made, value is updated these fields. Now, let's check how to allocate employee advance in the expense claim. This is an expense claim created for the same employee to whom advance was given. In this section, employee advance entry can be selected. On selection of employee advance, amount is allocated against expense claim and outstanding is updated. Now, let's check impact of expense claim on the employee advance. Here, you can see that based on the allocation in the expense claim, claimed amount is updated in the employee advance. Hope you found this video tutorial useful. For more details and free sign up, check erpnext.com. Thanks for watching.